Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is feeling the heat today following his glitch-filled launch of his presidential campaign. When his announcement was set to begin on Twitter Spaces, it had nearly 700,000 listeners. But after a disastrous set of technical difficulties, that number dropped to about 100,000 once it finally began. Here's CBS's Robert Costa. And freedom is worth fighting for. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis fending off critics and scrutiny after his presidential rollout on Twitter faced technical difficulties. I was just kind of waiting for it to happen that it did, and then we went on and, and, and got it done. But I think the fact that Elon and Twitter were involved for conservatives, that's meaningful. DeSantis planned to highlight his candidacy in a live conversation with Twitter CEO Elon Musk on the social media platform. But that rollout staggered, leading to an apparent exodus of listeners by the time he announced. All right, I think we're broadcasting. <laughs> Man, I think we melted the internet there. Governor DeSantis, uh, can, are you there? Can you hear us? I think you broke I'm right, here. I know. I think, I think you broke the internet there. Although some DeSantis allies tell CBS News they were frustrated by the spectacle, others are brushing it off, looking ahead to DeSantis hitting the campaign trail to talk policy and take on the former president. I don't know what happened to Donald Trump. This is a different guy today than when he was running in 2015 and 2016. And I think, uh, I think the direction that he's going with his campaign is the wrong direction. Trump called the campaign kickoff a disaster and sounded confident about his campaign while hitting the links at his Virginia golf course. I guess the Fox poll was good. I mean, the polls are very nice. Top national Republicans tell me they do not expect these technical issues to leave a permanent mark on the DeSantis campaign because he has enormous fundraising and field operations behind him as he heads next week to Iowa and then to New Hampshire. Nora. Robert Costa in Miami for us. Thank you so much.